I'm making an oatmeal cookie smoothie today that I got a recipe for, so we're experimenting together and we'll see how it tastes in the end. To make the smoothie, you're going to need a blender, and we're going to start with one and a half cups of almond milk. And if almond milk is not sold in the area where you live for it's not, or if it's really expensive where you live, I'll link to a video where I show how to make it. And then I'm doing a third of a cup of rolled oats. These are not quick cooking oats, they're just old fashioned rolled oats. And then I have a frozen banana here, and I'll link to a video where I show the right way to freeze bananas for smoothies. Then I have an assortment of things over here. I have a tablespoon of raisins, which is kind of interesting. Um, a tablespoon of cacao nibs, which come in a bag like this. Cacao nibs. And a tablespoon of chia seeds, which come in all kinds of ways. I bought them in a bag like this. And then I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of this Madagascar vanilla powder, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so now we're ready to blend it. Now, uh, I'm not sure of the purpose of the raisins, and I might have used a date, but um, another app, I see the raisins bumping around in here a lot, so one thing I could have done is soak them in water for a half hour. I also hear some things bumping around, and sometimes cacao nibs don't break up real well. So I'm going to stop the video, but I'm going to keep blending it for another 30 seconds or so. Okay, so now I'm ready to pour this. It might all fit in. One. Oh, there's a piece of something, but I want to taste it off camera. I'm not camera ready today. <laughs> I want to taste a little bit and tell you how it tastes. Hmm. Yeah, it does kind of taste like an oatmeal cookie. So this is really good. It's a nice treat. Um. And a nice snack for kids. It's It has a little bit of sweetness in it, but it's not real sugary. So I recommend trying it.